Namaste. Hope you are all keeping fine. Today I will be discussing how to make three different types of snacks using our very own idli batter or uh, idli mawa as we call it in Malayalam. This idli batter it is very rich in nutrients as you all must be knowing. It contains carbohydrates, proteins to name just a few and it undergoes a process called fermentation which actually doubles the value of the nutrients. So let us uh, just uh, have a look at the ingredients that I have arranged here. Uh, this is uh, for all the three items. Just have a look. This is the normal idli batter. This is the idli batter with onions, little rava inside that, rava or suji or semolina, whatever you can call it. And I have put some green chilies and also uh, some curry leaves. This I have kept it like this to show it to you. The semolina it has to actually soak in for some time. So I already kept this batter ready. This I will be showing you how to make make uh, appam out of this uh, towards the last. This I have made uh, some already made idlis. I have cut it into small pieces. I will make idli upma with this. And uh, here I have made a dry vegetable uh, masala. Um, you can use any vegetables of your choice but uh, I had only cabbage uh, potatoes with me so I have made use of that potatoes, um, cabbage, onion, chili and the like. So this is the dry rava that I used. I have kept uh, some coconut, dry coconut also here so that I can put it in the upma later on. This is however optional. You need to use it only if you like it. Then I have kept... Uh, Urad dal, some rice and mustard. This is for seasoning. Here I have made uh, two chutney. This is tomato chutney and this is coconut chutney. This we can uh, have our idli or upma or uh, this appam. Idli appam along with this two chutneys. So let us uh, get on to the first project. I am trying to make uh, idli, uh, masala idli. I will show you how to do it. So I have greased this uh, uh, idli pan with oil and now I will be putting little batter into all this. I am putting just a little batter into all this and then I will be putting this dry vegetable See, I put the dry vegetable in the middle and now we will put a little more of the batter on top. If we put more, it will overflow and the shape of idli will be lost. So, I will just put in little. This uh, vegetable will show when it gets cooked. So, now we go by the normal method. We will put a pan. This is the idli pan and we will slowly transfer it and then cover it with the lid. So by the time this gets cooked, we will get on to our next project. So for this I am to, I will make a idli upmao. For this, first we will take some oil. We being Malayalis, we use coconut oil for this, but you can use any oil. You can use sunflower oil. Uh, you can even use, use uh, ghee or dalda if you like. But here I am using coconut oil. So let the oil get warm. So once fumes start coming in, I'll put in some. I'll put in mustard, a uh, little rice, and urad dal to it. So let it splatter. Let it splatter.
we you know you can almost hear the sound of mustard packing so i'll put in the onion green chili and curry leaf you can also add in some vegetables like a grated uh, uh, carrot grated beetroot etc to make it more colorful it not only becomes more colorful but it becomes more nutritious as well but here i am just going with the basic elements of making a upma you can even use green peas for that so i am trying to sort it meanwhile our idli cooker is showing that it is almost getting done so i'll put in little salt the salt depends on your taste it is good enough you need not make it dark brown in color so this much will be good enough so i'll put in the already cut idli pieces into it you see we have uh, in the morning we generally make idli but you may be having some idli uh, with you remaining and uh, you must be wondering oh, what to do with it because eating idli uh, many times a day will actually it's boring so by um, this way uh, even the children they will find it very interesting if you just change a little bit so we can make upma upma like this you can crush the crush the idli pieces and you can present it on the table with a different look and with a different taste as well here since we are uh, doing uh, shadow frying this taste of oil and or it will actually enhance the taste i think i will have to put little more oil to it you can crush this you can mash this or you can just keep it as pieces itself and finally when this is done you can put in some grated coconut we malayalis are very fond of coconut so we try to put it in almost everything but this is entirely optional you may or you may not put it the taste either way the taste will be good so i am putting in some coconut as well see our idli upma is ready and it takes hardly any time you can cook it very easily maybe with the once the ingredients are ready with you you can just easily do it within maybe 5 to 10 minutes so it is a easy way of giving snacks to children and i'm sure the children will enjoy it a lot so this thing is also ready so i'll just switch it off meanwhile we'll just see whether our idli is ready it is almost getting done let it cook for some more time meanwhile i will start off with the third one for this we need a different type of pan that is the we call it appa chatti this is made of iron but nowadays i am sure uh, it is available in uh, um, 
as such it's available in the market uh, not only in iron um, in non stick wear also okay so this is available so this we will put some oil into it and again go for coconut oil this is generally this pan is generally used for making unni appam there is a very famous uh, kerala sweet typical kerala sweet and uh, it's very tasty as well so we generally use it for making uh, that appam but of course now we can use it for making a simple snack as well so let the pan get ready so since it is made of iron it will take some time to get ready so once it is ready so this uh, in case this is uh, you are uh, pan is made of iron you should not clean it completely and uh, uh, keep it because the rust will take uh, take over the whole vessel so you it is better that you grease it a little and then keep it and then when you use it for the next time you can wash it and then grease it again and then make the cooking otherwise uh, you cannot use it it will completely get decayed because of the rust since it is made of iron so i think by this time it's almost ready oil is ready so i'll pour small portions of this batter so this batter Uh, i told you earlier it contains our normal idli batter some semolina inside it and uh, green chilies onion and you might even put some vegetables and some pepper powder but i am not going for all that i am making it as simple as possible now we'll gently lower the flame and then put small ladles It's also a very interesting snack, which I am sure all the children will enjoy. It will get some time to get cooked. We have to be a little patient, but then the result will be very tasty. Meanwhile, let us see. I will just open uh, this idli. I'll just give it a poke to see whether it is ready. Yes, it is done. I'll switch it off, and then I'll take this out. See, this is the final thing. Before serving it on a plate, I'll just allow it to settle for some time because otherwise it will stick on to the uh, spoon. So I'll just keep it like that. See, I'll just turn it over. This will take some time, of course, and it will take some oil as well. So, if you are going. If you are health freaks, actually, you need to try this less and go more with the steaming method. But then, once in a while, this is okay. At least for children, children can definitely go in for this. See, I turned all them up, all over, and now we'll just keep tossing it a little here and there 
until it is cooked. You take some time. Meanwhile, I'll show you some of the appams that are made in the mop. See, this is the already prepared ones. Uh, this will take a little time. So I'll uh, so let us just I'll see whether how it is tasting. We can just serve it with little chutney. I'm going for tomato chutney. Also, this chutney. I'll show you the idli also. It's very hot. This is very hot. Taking some cloth actually. This is the idli and you can have it with the same chutney, same dish to chutney or you can make a, a chutneys of your choice, it is entirely up to you. And then meanwhile this is ready. Just switch it off and then take it. And just keep it on the over the pan for some time so, I, so that the excess oil drips out. So I hope you all liked my video. Please uh, Try it. Um, I'm sure your children will definitely like it. And uh, in case you have any doubts, you can get back to me. Um, you can give me your valuable feedbacks. So, bye for the time being.